Hey guys, Adrian here for Team Inspire, and who am I here with, and what did you do today? Um, I'm John Wilkin, and I just got third place at the remote to watch this. Congratulations, um, and uh, what did you. you play? Um, so I played Stink Eye, Fire King, Azamina, um, just to get into the list. Uh, the Fire King monsters, I played a somewhat big package. Um, realistically, you aren't going to get much bigger than this, unless you have, like, another Monarch or something, and, like, you don't really need that. Um, these are all good at one. So... People play between, you know, uh, one to three copies of this, usually around two, and then same thing for this, usually around two. Um, I think you just max out on them. I think consistency is really important in this deck, and this, like, these two especially play through boards really well, and, like, if they let this resolve, you're able to just push through so much, and, like, just chaining Karen to this to play around, um, not even just this, but, like, just chaining Karen to, like, you know, Ash or something to play around the game for more not is uh, really strong as well. Um, it also helps some grind game, like in the grind game and like more uh, control matchups, um, like Labyrinth and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, so for the uh, other stuff, I played Three Witch and then uh, the Snake Eyes. Um, so I, I don't think you should cut on this really. Um, I only played Two Deception. That's a card that I would consider playing more of, but like realistically, I felt that um, which is just a little better, just getting, like, the free body right away. And, like, sure, you don't, like, the board with Deception is, like, a little better and, like, you're able to do a little more. But, like, you just kind of lose to, like, Ogre and, like, Retaliating C, um, like, really, really hard um, when you go that route. So um, I felt, like, just uh, doing this was just a little better um, than doing Deception. Um, oh, and one more thing. Um, I really liked Oak. So some people were cons like I was talking to Landon uh, Oliver. He, he helped me with this deck a lot, um, and we were talking about like cutting this card. I think you should play it. I, I like there was a lot of times where I really need the body and the grind game, and like sure you like you could cut it, but there's going to be a lot of times when you know you're going to want to have access to this card, especially if you open like bonfire and stuff. It gets um, I think it's really cool where you do plays with this card and uh, like the grind game and the the bodies provides is really important sometimes. Like going um like in the combo where you go like uh, normal ash, print the poplar, poplar get your search or whatever, and then getting the body like this, um, you don't really you can't do this if you don't have the oak right. It's it's just this like it's you know like you just you can't like get to the full. Um, not not the full board, but like it's a, a suboptimal play that like did did come up sometimes where. It, um, sorry, that's my spiel on Oak. I just love this card so much. Um, the three wanteds, two deceptions, uh, hollowed, uh, original. Obviously, I touched on the deceptions. Uh, this card's really good, um, but it just it just it's a bit of a choke point that you kind of don't want to tunnel into, and especially in this deck where like. Once you start playing, you can really just kind of um, start picking up a lot of steam, just kind of snowball into an OTK. Um, and then three bonfire and the uh, sanctuary and island. That's it for like the engine. For the non-engine, it's the same as uh, when I played. Um, I think that this is correct, like realistically. Um, the, the other non-engine than this that you could main um, isn't worth it like you could play um i was considering playing delta uh that's a card that you could play but other than that like there isn't really that many hand traps that have as high of an impact as these five and like the other ones just aren't worth it like you can't play valor because you play compulse and like same thing for nib and then it's uh, ogre as well and like the other ones just really aren't worth it and so this is kind of just like the perfect kind of non-engine um especially for this deck where it's like Although it's only 15 and 44, your engine does so much to the point where, like, if you're able to stop them just a little bit with, like, a Fuara or a Droll, um, like, you're able to just kind of, like I said, like, just steamroll them, uh, especially because you play. Um, you know, I, play, or because I played, like, three Karen, three Alpinex. So, like, playing through boards just becomes a lot easier. Um, yeah, so that's 44 in the main. Um, Anima, Kita, Dark. IP, uh, SP, uh, Wolf, Princess, Amblo, uh, Raging Phoenix, Atlantis, 
Sylvia Murcielago, Grunix, Zombie Vampire. Um, so I played Fucho. I really like this card. Um, I think Tenpai, I only played against one um, this tournament, but like it's just been so popular, like just having access to this card, especially because of the fact that all connects can just go, like if they, you know, shift for you, you go normal all connects, uh, pop whatever, and you search Ponix, change the level, summon the Ponix, get the search, and then it's Fucho. And so you have a follow up play for next turn and, uh, and the body like to survive. So, like, I I think this is just worth it over something like a second princess. Um, and also this is just like the best card in the extra deck. Some vampires insane. Um, just getting access to engine is just unreal with the fact and stuff. Um, three uh, Perulia, three GD curves. So this card is pretty cool. Um, it's mainly for the pure matchup because you hit the uh, the Azamina stuff and. Once you get rid of that, the ceiling of that deck is pretty low. So, especially in Fire King, like I said, um, it does such a great job at breaking through these boards. That's something like this, where you kind of just chip away at like a key piece of interruption. Same goes against the Fire King matchup as well. You put these in, um, like hitting a princess with this, or like you know hitting an IP sometimes can just uh, can just kind of turn the tide. It's sort of like a Runix or something. Um, so this card's pretty cool, and it's also good against Fiendsmith. Uh, Fiendsmith cards. Uh, Perlia is always Fiendsmith as well. Um, I played Double Cosmic. Cosmic was pretty good. I'm not sure if I would play more, but uh, yeah, I liked it. It did its job. Uh, Talents. Talents was also great. Um, again, I don't think I would play more, but definitely think I'd keep it too. Like, honestly, I don't think I would change this side um, very much, if at all. Maybe I'll switch these for Delta um, or Ogre or something like that. Um, and then call by uh, triple D barrier, just um, you know, again for tempos, why not? And then skill drain. Um, this card is pretty good. I drew it twice and it just won me the game automatically both times. Um, and yeah, the, that's the list. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, really happy to be joined, Team Inspire. Um, yeah. Any uh, any quick shout outs? Um, I guess, uh, yeah, shout out to Landon, shout out to Ryan Yu, shout out to Charlie, uh, the homies, um, shout out to Studs, uh, and yeah, shout out to Team Inspired. I love you guys. Yeah, it's sick. Also, uh, just a quick shout out to our sponsors, you know, Card Haven, uh, Tinfold, and Dueling Guard. Um, and yeah, man, hope, uh, you know, wish you, wish you that win soon. Yeah, that's the plan, bro. All right, congrats. Yeah, take care.